Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We are glad that you could be here. And this week we've been looking at uh, this whole series on the antidote, God's word being an antidote uh, in, in the life uh, of a believer uh, to whatever that causes, create, uh, causes confusion and creates chaos in the life of a believer. God's word counteracts it. It's like an antidote. So uh, today we're going to look at how God's word is the apt antidote for fear. Now, fear, as we uh, uh, see in God's word, brings a snare, meaning it's, it's like a noose, it's like a hook, it's like a trap that traps the believer. So fear is not something that is healthy, and we're talking about, a, you know, we're talking about an unhealthy fear. It's not a reverential fear which we need to have for the Lord. This is like fear that brings torment. And uh, Proverbs 29 and verse 25 says that fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Right? So the fear of man brings a snare. So it's like a trap. It's brings, it brings torment and it puts a person in a prison and uh, does not allow the person to live a life of freedom. That is what fear causes. Um, in Joshua chapter 1, um, God tells Joshua, He asks Joshua uh, not to be fearful but to be strong and to be of good courage over and over again because Joshua is faced with this awesome responsibility of leading this entire nation of Israel and uh, Moses is not there with him. He has passed away and he's facing this awesome responsibility and God comes and he has his encounter with God. God gives him this instruction, I will not leave you nor forsake you. We see that in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 5. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And he goes on to say, be of good courage, be strong and of good courage for the task that is ahead. Again in verse 7, it says, be strong and very courageous. And, um, and the thing is this, in verse 9 he says, for the Lord your God is with you. In verse 9 also he says, be strong and of good courage, which is the very opposite thing of being fearful. And, uh, and the thing is this, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So the first thing that we see is the presence of God himself. He promises his presence and he says, I am with you. You know, the thing with fear is uh, when we experience fear or when fear knocks at the door of our hearts, we feel all alone. We feel that everyone has left us and we feel all alone, but we feel incapable of facing certain situations. We feel intimidated by someone or intimidated by something, or maybe it's just the fear of the unknown. But here we see that God is saying, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you wherever you go. So God promises his presence. So the first thing is this, when we are aware of God's presence at all times, that's the antidote for fear. And God promises, He promises His presence and throughout scripture we see the promises of God. God says that I will be this for you, that I will provide for you. So that takes the fear out of unknown situations, you know. How will I face this? How will I do this? How will I take care of this? For each one of those fears, God promises something. God promises and He says, I will take care. I will be there. I will take care of that need. I will meet that need. So second thing is to be aware or to acknowledge God's promises. And thirdly, we see that God's power is in action. You know, he's saying that where His presence is, there is power. And uh, we see this in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. So the power of God, the love of God casts out the very fear that holds us back. So let's pray and uh, let's apply this truth in God's word 
let's acknowledge the presence of God, acknowledge the promises of God, acknowledge the power of God and receive the love of God to see the exit of fear in our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this is what you've promised, your presence, your power, your promises, your love. And Lord, even as we acknowledge it, even as we receive it, may we walk in the power of it, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.